All right, well, in 2011, an IBT reporter stated that Craigslist is connected to 300 crimes, 12 murders, and 105 of robberies, which is pretty wild. I mean, we're college students. We kind of have jobs, sometimes have jobs. We're cheap. We're looking for something reliable, cheap, something now. And what we sometimes resort to third buying, selling sellers, which is like Craigslist. So I'm here to tell you how to prevent that. Now you should listen to me because I will help you. I can help you um, not be part of the statistics. And here's why you should listen to me. So how do we tackle on this thing? How do we spot the scammers? Well, the first way to spot a scammer is really simple by reading the text of the biography and the picture that they use. So if it's like really bad grammar, there's a lot of overseas scammers that comes from, you know, all over the world, not really that educated in the English language. So that's a good thing to look out for. Another thing is what type of picture do they use? Is it personal or is it like a stock picture from Walmart, Amazon, or whatever? If it's personal, scroll through it, make sure it's the same appliance, make sure same dashes, same whatever. Now another thing to look for is, is it too good to be true? Now, you know what's too good to be true. If they're selling a 70 inch screen for 200, it's too good to be true. You gotta use your instinct and your intuition when you're doing deals on Craigslist or online. Another thing is, what type of payment do they wanna do? Is it wired, credit cards, gift cards, face-to-face? Uh, -face? Uh, best bet is face-to-face -face because a lot of wiring scams go on in Craigslist, so you wanna be careful of that. Now, now since we know how to spot the scammer, what questions do we ask? One of the simplest questions we can ask is their name. One, it shows you that you actually want to do the business, but then it's a really vital information that you can gather from them. With this, you can look for it online. Google it. Google their name as well. Google their um, number to see if it's real or not. Um, Google their name. Make sure it's not related to any crimes they've done, anything like that. Watch out for that. Another thing you want to ask is, um, the condition, obviously, of the plants that you want to get, gather information on that, and then lead to why are they selling it. Now, all of this is all based around your instinct and your intuition. So get the vibe that they're trying to get off, um, that they're giving you. Um, so now, since we know how what questions to ask, where do we meet up? Everybody says meet up in a public place. And yes, do meet up in a public place, but don't meet up at a parking lot. Nobody's really there or paying attention to you or cameras aren't there. A better place would be like Starbucks, a coffee house, somewhere where it's a safe environment, somewhere maybe even has a little electrical outlet if it's, you're buying a TV or something, it's convenient. As well, bring a friend. Bringing a friend can help you mentally and physically. It can make you feel more safe and secure, and it's always good to have a, a second opinion. Well, now I told you all three ways, so you guys won't have to be part of the statistic. All right, thank you.